So what's coming up? <laughs> give us a tease. On what, what do you have up your sleeves? We have a lot of great stuff. We do. It's we look at each other because we're trying to figure out what we can say without revealing. Yeah, it's Beauty and the Beast 2.0 for sure. It's like better. Uh, yeah, better than ever. We come back three months later, and we learn that Muirfield or someone has had Vincent, and he's it. different. And we can't tell you exactly how he's different, but he's, he's different. He's not recast. <laughs> okay. He's Jay Ryan, better than ever, um, and he is more dangerous for sure. More supercharged. Stronger. Um, and it means also our emphasis, like, uh, we want to do better, we want to improve on last season, do better action sequences, make him a cooler beast. Just from a macro point, it was such a great opportunity to say, okay, how can we really hone and define what he can do and, and what Muirfield was? I think we felt like last year, we, there's so much to it's set up. It's fuzzy. And, and we want, really wanted to define what is Muirfield? What were they doing? Who were the kids? So all of that is going to be explored, answered. Questions are going to be raised again that feel like we really have answers and we know where we're going. We have a season plan, arc plan, and we actually have a three-season arc plan, mm -hmm. which you don't have in the, when you have a pilot. You just don't have right, the time. Just, we got to go. Um, and it's going to be difficult for Kat and Vincent. Um, we felt like last at the, towards the end of last season, um, it was it was time to really challenge their relationship, and it feels like a relationship needs to be challenged in order to get to the next level. So we're going to do that, and we're also going to explore Cat and what she's about, separate from Vincent, um, her relationship with Tess. The theme gonna, of the season, speaking right. of that, is who am I? Who are you? Who am I? And about identity. And so Kat's going to be struggling with, who, who am I? Am I somebody who's going to give up my whole life for this guy with a lot of baggage? Uh, Vincent's going to be struggling with my man or beast. But all the other characters we want to really look at, too. And to test, am I just a sidekick and JT who supports my friends through this? How much of my life do I give up? And also find out what the beast is in all of us. Kat, you know, what is her dark side? What does that look like? Because um, we've got... It's so far been just about him. Um, I don't know. Anything what else? Else? What else do you specifically? want to know? We, have, we left dangling from the finale. Of course, we know Kat has a father, not her dad. So um, we'll be exploring the mystery of who her dad is, how she finds out. Uh, we're going to be playing a father-daughter story. I guess I could say, where Kat is going to soon learn that her father wasn't her father, the one she got, and she's going to be a journey to figure out. That's part of who am I, who did I come from. And the third component, there was something else I thought of. For season three, Gabe, Gabe will be coming back, and it's amazing how he, he does. And actually, we have a new co-showrunner, Brad Kern, um, who came, who's amazing and really has kind of an incredible head, maybe because he has distance or came to He had the greatest pitch ever, and we're really excited for everyone to see how Gabe comes back. I'm just curious to know if you guys have had you, like, what were your creative struggles when writing season one? That's a that great hard. question. It started off as a police procedural. That's really what yeah. we were asked to do. And very quickly, you know, we did a couple of episodes where we had a case and no one cared about the case. And, and adding on, we, the struggle is, I think, uh, the studio, the network, the producer, everyone has their own idea, but they said procedural, only do mythology four times a year. So we were so flipped out because after that pilot, what do you do? Yeah, they told was, us no more Muirfield. Get rid of Muirfield. We don't want to ever hear about Muirfield. And then after some episodes, we realized, well, no one. We don't want to see those cases. We don't, we don't want to see the cases. And we used to joke. By the end of the season, we would joke that she could work for a flower shop for all we like <laughs> paid attention to that part. Um, and we really did. Jay and Kristen are so great on screen together that we really did start focusing on them and what is their struggle and that's why we put them together. We wanted to see them together. What would that be like? And I have to give credit. I was on a show called Everwood and the characters were together and Greg Berlanti had said don't be afraid of having your characters be together for a season and finding stories within that. Cause people I was really just... afraid of it. <laughs> and it's scary and hard but, so, but I think it was right to put them together totally. and now of course we get to if we need to and want to rip them because we know they've had this great backstory. They love each other. We see it. So now we can challenge it. 
So, but we always say, like, we feel like we didn't find the show truly. I mean, we're so glad we lived to tell the tale, but right. the show did until after the procedural wasn't the emphasis around episodes yeah. five and eight. Another challenge I think we had was we were so focused on Kat and Vincent that we didn't flesh out all the other aspects of the show. And so this year we really mean to do that. A lot of times we write episodes and because they had these cases that were complicated, you couldn't edit down the episode. So what would end up being cut out for 42 minutes was JT's story that was going to be a reveal. Tests that deepen her relationship. And so we figured out how to better balance that now that we don't have to focus so much. She will be still working in the precinct, but those cases will directly, and we can't give it this... You, you'll see with the season premiere, it will be about what's going on in the basic mythology. It won't ever be, I'm at a ballet studio, and just, it's, a, it's CSI. But I think that's with any new show. We learned a lot. We learned how to function on no sleep. And we learned what our show was. Yeah. yeah. Well, you said earlier, too, that you were so, in, like, just so invested in season two that you forgot a lot about what happened in season one. Right? I, yes. I, I think that's true. I mean, it's... So seems so far away for us because we're so in it. I mean, we're already talking about episode five now. So, but the good news is, I mean, and we didn't have this last year. We broke an episode and everyone cheered. So it feels like just the DNA of the show. Appropriate to talk about DNA with Vincent. It's just better this year. The way it was set up and Brad really helped us with that too. So, we're, everyone's really excited. And the actors, you'll hear when you talk to them, they're psyched and they were tired. Winter is hard in Toronto. <laughs> They're excited. That was another challenge last year. We're yes. here. We're in L.A. and they're in Toronto. Yeah. It's hard for us to go up because it's so far and we're so busy. that it, it That's a challenge. It's really hard. So we have a new crew up there. We have a lot of new people up there helping us and helping them. We would ha they would, the crew would do sometimes, we weren't always able to communicate on time for probably, so we would write a fight sequence and they would shoot it as if it were like a five minute se set piece, but we can't do that on our show, we don't have time. And so it would waste all that production day, so talk about some struggles. It was just first year stuff, I guess, it's typical. Beginner. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, just well. figuring out what the, and also figuring out what the show is. Yeah. I'm interested in what is your on your on your TV. What are shows you enjoy on television? Right? Well, we I, have kids. We have yeah. little kids. <laughs> yeah. That says it all. Oh, so <laughs> my TiVo's, like my TiVo's crazy. <laughs> you want to talk about your TiVo? My no, TiVo mine is crazy. My TiVo has well, it has a lot of kids shows. So minus the kids shows, I don't watch a lot of one-hour drama. I think the only one-hour drama on my TiVo right now is Scandal because I'm curious about their storytelling. I haven't yet watched it. Um, but mostly it is reality shows. We have The Voice. The Voice. Oh, okay. um, the Bachelor. The Bachelor. I haven't the Bachelor. missed an episode in 10 years. That's the romantic part of me. But I have to say, in defense of my Bachelor watching, is I've given a, several episodes of dates that they've done. We've put in different TV shows we've yes. written on. I did just watch the first season of Homeland, um, which was interesting for our season. So yeah. there were was a little bit of a, not similarity, but just the way they tell stories. Um, it, like in Homeland, the audience knows or suspects things before the characters do. So uh, there's we're a, doing we do a little that. bit of that. This year, we didn't last year. But we'll be clued in more on what really is going on and what's the, what the bad entities plan, what's happening. So there will be a big bad, a big bad in the second season? There will be a big yes. bad. Yes. Okay. And, and Vincent will have, he won't just be sitting there. Um, and he so, has a mission yeah. that we make clear what that mission is. And what is that mission? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's super cool. It's cool. <laughs> Will there be other beasts revealed in season two? Yeah. Beasts are, and, and I mean, if you think about, we really, once we explored Beerfield and what they were really doing, and if they were experimenting on people, why would it just be Vincent? But it doesn't mean they're all going to be like Vincent. It sounds like you're following a pattern like a lot of shows do, although I think you're ahead of it because you figured out what you are. In the I wish they had like a book where you could <laughs> just say, what do we do next? Yeah, I know. I know. But it, it, and usually what happens is that the successful show, the second season, you're fleshing out the character. It sounds like you're going on that journey. Yes. Doing yeah, that, so that's that is what we're doing. And well, I will say we're so grateful because I feel like our cast is just, they're good actors. Yeah. So... Even if there's sometimes things, you know, first season there can be episodes that aren't as strong, but thank God our actors are there to sell stuff. Yeah, they are great. 
Great, thank you all so much. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.